Hi, this is a follow-up of this other video called The Philosophical Speculation on Dalit 2. Today, I want to show you a simple application of these AI-generated images created by Dalit 2, using these images as graphic assets for video game development. If you like to dabble in indie video game development as a hobby, then I think this might be interesting for you. So, I'm using a program called Click Team Fusion 2.5 and GIMP as an image editor. I've been playing around with Fusion 2.5 and I've been trying to simulate a first-person game environment. However, using only 2D graphic sprites similar to the old first-person shooters. I already have some images here that were generated previously in DALI 2 and that I will select to use. I want to use images that have a frontal perspective and are seen from the ground. I have some characters too. I'm going to select this one image where there's an Amazon woman and this lion creature. I will first save this to the hard drive and open it in GIMP. I select the part I want to remove. Don't forget to apply an alpha transparency channel. I also try to remove the rest of the black background so that only the image I want is left. I've done this for several images. As you can see here, mountains for the background, the original image and the cropped image that I will use in Fusion 2.5. We also have a tower, the Amazon woman, two different trees, a bush and a cloud. I imported everything into Click Team Fusion 2.5 into my game file, that is the 2D first person game engine I developed. Basically, I arranged the spawning system of the different images in a clever way to gradually enlarge them as I press a certain button in the keyboard. What I did was to set up the horizon in the center of the screen and then I just needed to calibrate the images sizing speed. And later, I implemented the function of turning left and right so that the image moves horizontally and accordingly. So as you can see, it gives an illusion of being a first-person shooter. In this case, I didn't implement the shooting function. As it is, it could be an adventure and exploration game or a form of animation if a screen recording is taken. This is an example of how to use images as sprites for first-person game. But, of course, they can also be used for a platform game or a game with an isometric perspective if the image is generated in DALI 2 with the instruction to be isometric. I hope you enjoyed this little demo. You must watch this other video if you want a more profound analysis of the possibilities that AI will provide. Here I'm talking about what the future of art will be, the role of the artist and what's the future of the man-machine relationship, considering our increasing need for entertainment and thus the danger of reducing our ability to have resilience to boredom. See you there.